Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made these super cute hearts. They're kind of like a little heart plushie, or you can also use them as like a kind of stress reliever type thing. But I just think they're so cute. It is after Valentine's Day, but I have just been swarmed with schoolwork, so I haven't had the chance to be able to make a tutorial. But here I am. So, also hearts are very versatile. You can make hearts for yourself or anyone any time of the year. So, yeah. Um, anyways, this is what I'm going to be showing you how to make today. Um, this is a fairly simple pattern. Um, and I hope pretty beginner friendly. I don't explain how to do any of the stitches in the video. Um, so you kind of have to know how to do everything. But other than that, um... Yeah, let's get into what you're going to be needing. Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make the heart with some regular worsted weight acrylic yarn. Um, of course, you can use whatever yarn you want. Um, it should come out pretty much the same way, but of course, with a thinner, smaller yarn, it's going to be coming out a little bit smaller. With a chunkier yarn, it's going to come out a bit bigger and more full um but yeah just keep that in mind um so you're gonna need your yarn a hook i'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook but that is with the acrylic so you can size up or down depending on what yarn you use i'm going to be using stuffing scissors of course and the last thing is a darning needle this is just to sew a bit of the top together once we get to that part so that is all you're going to be needing and let's just get straight on into it. I think I also forgot to mention that you're going to be needing a stitch marker, but now let's get into it. Okay, so we are going to begin with the two little kind of top pieces for the hearts. So you have to make two separate pieces for those, but if we're going to start with the first one. I'm going to start with a magic ring and I'm going to put six single crochets into it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then I'm going to go ahead and pull my magic ring tight and put my stitch marker around the loop on my hook. So now that you have your magic ring, we're going to go into the first stitch and we're going to increase all the way around that row. So two single crochets into every stitch. Okay. Okay, so this is what it should look like. I'm gonna move my stitch marker up to the loop around my hook. And now for the last row of this little heart bump, I'm gonna call it, that's what I'm gonna call it. I don't necessarily know what to call it. But for this last row, we're going to just do one round of single crochets. So one single crochet into every stitch all the way around. And then once I get back to the stitch marker, I'm going to do one single crochet into it. I'm just going to remove the stitch marker. This is what it should look like. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just chain one. And then you don't need to leave that long a tail of yarn. I'm just going to snip and pull through my yarn. And that is what that should look like. That is the first little bump of the heart. We're going to make one more of these, except we're not going to tie off our yarn at the end. So I will come back and show you what I do for the last round. Um, so if that wasn't clear, make exactly one more of these. You can just go back in the tutorial and do exactly what I did. Just don't tie it off. 
Okay, so I just finished the second heart bump. What I did at the end of the row was I just moved the stitch marker up to the loop around the hook, and we're not gonna tie off. And now we are going to connect these two little bumps to make the top of the heart. So how I do that is, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing better. Um, but pretty much we're going to single crochet into what would be the next stitch of the one that we tied off on. So I'm gonna go into that next stitch, grab my yarn and just make a single crochet. Just like that and that kind of starts off on the connection of the heart so now i'm going to go and do another 11 single crochets into this first piece until we get to the place that we connect the heart bumps again so yeah and we're just doing single crochets for this So now we're at that part where we're gonna connect again. So let me just do my last single crochet. And now we're gonna go into the next stitch that hasn't been like already done a stitch into. We're gonna go into right here and we're gonna do a single crochet. And now you can kind of see that gap. We're gonna close that up in a few rows. But for the rest of this round, we're just going to do single crochets until we get back to our stitch marker. So I moved my stitch marker up. For this next row, we're just going to do one single crochet into every stitch around. So pretty simple, just one single crochet all the way around. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Go ahead and move your stitch marker up to the loop around your hook. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna remove my hook for a moment. We have the stitch marker, so our yarn shouldn't go anywhere. But now this is going to kind of look a little bit messy, but what I'm gonna do is I'm first going to snip some pieces of yarn. So you see the center of the kind of circle, you're gonna take that piece of yarn and you can just snip that and tuck that back in and then the other one right in the center of this circle i'm just going to snip a little piece of that off and this is just to make it a little bit more easy to see what we're doing but now we're going to take this piece of yarn and sew that hole you see right there in between the two circles we're going to take that and sew the hole shut so now you can grab your darning needle thread it through And then just go through a few times to sew that little hole up. I don't think I left a long enough end for my sewing, but that's okay. I'll work through it. And then you can just like make sure through both sides that it's completely sewed through. And once you have that, I kind of just like to go through some stitches just to make sure that my yarn stays secure. And then I can just go ahead and snip the excess yarn. And 
and down we have our two little heart bumps and now we can start the decreasing process to create the point for our heart okay so for this first row of decreases we're going to do six single crochets and then is the next two stitches we're going to make a decrease And then we're going to repeat another six single crochets. And then another decrease after. And then we're going to do another six single crochets. Remove our stitch marker just so we can do that last decrease. Right there. And then you can replace your stitch marker to the loop around your hook. So that was the first row of decreases, and now we're going to do kind of the same thing, except this time we're going to do five single crochets instead of six, and then our decrease. So that's what we're going to do for this row. So five single crochets. And now a decrease. And just repeat that. Five single crochets. and then a decrease. And just continue that until you get back to your stitch marker. So now you can kind of see the heart starting to kind of shape up. So, yeah. <laughs> For the next row, we're going to do three single crochets. And then a decrease. Another three single crochets. And then a decrease. And just do that around. For the next round, we're going to be doing two single crochets and then a decrease. And then you kind of get the gist, but we're going to do one single crochet and then a decrease. And actually, before I go ahead and finish this round, I am going to stuff because otherwise I'm not going to have enough space to be able to stuff. So I'm going to grab my stuffing and just slowly stuff it. I don't want it to be too firm, so I like to put a little bit um, of stuffing in at a time. And then also remember that you wanna put some stuffing equally like um, into both sides or both like bumps of the heart. I 
Okay, so that's enough stuffing for now. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that row of single crochet and then a decrease, and then I might add some more stuffing. So I'm just going to add a little bit more stuffing because our next row is going to be our last row. And it might be kind of hard to get some stuffing in. But if you need to, you can grab like a pencil or pen or something and kind of use that to shove it, um, the stuffing into the little hole. Just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to finish off the heart by just doing a row of decreases. And I'm actually just going to remove my stitch marker now because it's gonna make it hard for me to see what I'm doing. But yeah, I just finish up with some decreases. And I just kinda, I don't necessarily do a whole row of decreases. I just kind of go until I can't see much of a hole left. So for me, it was two decreases, and now I'm going to go ahead and tie off. Leave a kind of small-ish tail, snip your yarn, pull through, and I'm gonna take my darning needle again, and I'm going to thread it through my yarn, and then just kind of finish. I'm just gonna tuck in that excess yarn, so. I'm just gonna go in a bunch and make sure yarn is secure. So just kind of go in and out random places. That's what I do. <laughs> and you can go ahead, snip that little tail once you have it tucked in. And that is really it for the heart. Super simple, cute. I think I'm gonna turn this one into a little keychain because it's really tiny. But yeah, this tutorial was super easy. You can use this for literally whatever type of yarn you want to use and it will come out in different sizes. Um, but yeah, this is super simple and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was pretty quick. I made this probably under 20 minutes. So yeah, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know what you want me to make next. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.